be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a great place to get your magic gear. But for what it's worth, if you play other TCGs, they got some of that too. Also, you know, fucking the Dragon Shields, fantastic sleeves, uh, good prices. What's up, Planeswalkers? Today's video is also brought to you in part by the like button. Press it. <laughs> uh, today, Wednesday, the huge, we're playing Bolus. Uh, last time I played Old Bolus, I think it was like February 5th, something like that. And I, <laughs> the reason I remember is because we got our ass kicked by um, uh, uh, Kethis Combo, but I like felt good about it because I, I feel like, I think it was because I did something myself. And I think I already made changes to the sideboard, so I'm not going to touch that for now. Uh, and as usual, I play Bolus constantly, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have a little Bolus thing. Uh, we're gonna go into a traditional historic event though. Doing some best of three. How much do I need to win? I uh, just yeah, two wins. I wish this was three losses. They could even like adjust these, but it sucks that you have to. Um, there you are. Uh, it sucks that you have to like, keep coming back in if you lose. I will say also, if you're gonna have the historic like name tag keep it always when you're in um planning in, in friendly challenges keep it there when you're doing events like this keep it there i want to know when my decks are historic or not this is this is you know it's not as big of an issue with the historic challenge but it is with friendly challenges like i i want to be able to make sure i'm playing the right format um for for my viewers this is a mulligan because we have no black if we had a black mana, like if one of these were black, like I'd probably keep it because of greed. Other hand's okay. Um, or I think we drop the acquisition here. Yeah, temple. Excuse me, temple can help me out to make sure I, I draw as few extra lands as possible. It's possible I should have gotten rid of one of the lands, knowing that I had a temple. Oh my gosh. Alright, I, I regret everything. Do I show them I'm Grixis? I guess I don't need to show them I'm Grixis just yet. I don't have double red like that, so... No idea what my opponent's on. I'm going to hold up a, a devil, though. It just it could be just Simic Flash, but it does not feel like it. Um, they they didn't play Wilderness Reclamation. Um, okay. Flash and Wolf. Nope, just cameras inside. Okay. I do not know what my opponent is playing yet. Hey, look, it's a Wilderness Reclamation. Um, so I probably have lost, and the reason I say that is because I've had no onboard uh, pressure, and now my opponent can just counter everything I attempt to play. So here's an Ashiok, it's probably going to get countered. It doesn't get countered, interesting. Come, create beautiful nightmares with me. There's an argument to be made for both bouncing the Reclamation as well as making a 2-3. The 2-3 applies some semblance of pressure. It also allows me to bounce uh, potentially scarier threats next turn. Um, another reason not to bounce the Reclamation is the fact that they would just be able to play it again with minimal loss. So I think I am just going to plus here. Okay. So luckily they don't have another blue, so they can't threaten my Ashiok here. Um, so I guess this is just Flash. Double Reclamation. That's quite scary. Well, no, Brazen Borrow was also just a tempo tool, so. Alright, well, they're casting something large. Ooh, 
Right, next is a fade. Right. Gotcha. Root Snare, Nexus of Fate. So it's just Simic of Fate. And this is what that E goes for. <laughs> Fear your failure. Do we have another Nexus? They're searching for it. They're searching for it. They're searching for it. That's <laughs> fucking... Running pretty good on those growth spirals. Insight. They're still searching for it. We're gonna probably see them use the insight again. Nope. Did you get your nexus? Did you? Punk. Nope. They're searching for another one. I don't think I have any Farika's libations in this in this version. But honestly with with the reclamation, I think it's probable that it's like a reasonable include. Um So I can kill the brazen borrower. Can bounce one of the reclamations, but one rec bouncing one reclamation doesn't actually slow them down at all. All your fears are given for. God, I can't do it anyway. Uh, destroy you. And pass. Uh, you might be saying, why am I not conceding yet? One, they can continually whiff. It's not likely, but the main reason is actually to just get uh, more information on the cards that they're playing, right? I'm almost certainly going to lose this game, but if I stick around to get as much information as possible, it makes it much more likely that I'll win the match. So, for example, we didn't know that they ha that they were going to have Teferi, right? And now, or Teferi, Tamiyo, and now we do. I assume this is going to search for Nexus. Seek and find. Search for Skanza. Wait, there were th there were four Nexuses. What? There were, they had all four of those. <laughs> Interesting. Um, pass. I want to do this in response to the triggers. And try and murder Tamio. I'd like you to die. Cool, she's dead. It doesn't really matter, and it does show them I'm playing Bedevil, but. Do they have next? I thought all four of them went shuffled back in. I must just be very confused. It's possible that, that revealed pile was not fully accurate. My opponent has a Castle of Ventress and they've just not been using it. As if some sort of prescient god. Put both on bottom. It's a good sign. I mean, they're only at 32. Put another one on the bottom. Also a good sign. Bad sign. Really, really bad sign. Yeah, the, the further the deck goes, I'll probably... Oh, they kept that one too. I'll probably concede after this round, because I don't think there's going to be much more information that I get here. I think you will find my notes helpful. Yeah, they're still looking for search. Blink, wilderness, spirals, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So they don't have a lot of um, 
They don't have a lot of win conditions besides Nexus, it seems. Either 25 of their deck. Um, they might still have like Hydro Crisis, but I'm not. I don't really worry about those. The Brazen Borrowers are also things I don't really worry about. Tamio by herself can't really do anything, and I have plenty of ways to get rid of Tamio. Um, do they only play one or two? I think they just played one. Um, I'm essentially still here just to, um, just to make sure that I I have a, a good grasp on. as much of my opponent's deck as I, as I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Nice double ice canta. And I assume they're going to have 16 cards in in the library. So if they have another Nexus here, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Because um, just 16 cards, I'm unlikely to, to glean much more information there. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of information there that I would not have gathered if I hadn't stuck around a little bit longer. Um, da, da, da. Thought Distortion. Exile all. I need to double check. Because does this... What exactly do you say? Oh, god damn it. Seriously. I can't look at Nexus Fate. I'm, I'm legit just going to go over and look at Nexus Fate. Because it's very important that I actually know. We'll be put into a graveyard from anywhere. So that's a replacement effect. Replacement, exile. Okay, so this does exile. So we do want Thought Distortion. Um, we definitely want Onward Ego. Eugene's helpful at dealing with enchants. Um, we don't need the cries. We don't need the rituals. Um, I think I just want more gaseous content. Those well, doesn't matter. So Sarkins, Sharon's. Probably get rid of Nightmare as well. I guess Tyrant Scorn's better to get rid of. Okay. Yeah, we'll try like this. Unfortunately, this build doesn't have um, any, like, aggressive creatures. So it's possible I, I could have, like, a Thief of Sandy on the side. Um, because with this version, I can actually get creatures. So this is a really an incredibly tough decision. Because we have the Unward Ego, and we have two draw steps to get a land to cast it on curve. The thing is, my opponent does have several cards that they can get rid of. Um, the Fogs, for example, are great. They don't need them in this matchup. Um, so they're likely going to be including Mystic, Mystical Dispute. So my Unward Ego might get countered anyway. And then I'm just placed in a tough position. I think I think it would be better for me to try and have a more stable position. This is fine. Getting a, an early thought racer is helpful. Um, Nikki B versus Ashiok. I think Nikki B is slightly worse because Ashiok can have my opponent exile things. So I'm gonna go ahead and scry dragon scroll summon. I'll keep on top. Um. Yeah, and then, like, I can potentially use... So I wonder if this is... That is not the first time I've done that, and it will not be the last. <laughs> it's fine! I didn't want to do anything until this turn anyway. Whatever! Whatever! I'm not very smart. Um, so yeah, I might want to use Unward Ego on... Um, on a turn where I can actually pay for it. I wish I had Ascanta mana. Three, three mana? Do they have anything on three that I care about? I don't think so. Yeah, if they, they, if they counter this, I think I'm fine with that. Because that's a counter that they can't use on Thought Razor. And it looks like they do have the dispute. Man, it's like I know Magic the Gathering. Okay. So they disputed that one. 
This thought eraser might get disputed, which would suck. Um, try a bolus. Because I need to start drawing lands. Another counter? Well, they're using Intervention as a counterspell, so I assume that right here they're going to have uh, Reclamation. <sighs> Darn. And Tyrant Scorn still is not great. Curse Spiral, yep. Um... If I, can, if I can get one more land that comes in untapped... Then and and resolve Ashek or Bolas. I'm still not sure which I would cast. Um, then I might still have a fighting chance, but interesting. Fun fact: um, that is that is pro uh, blue, but Devil is not a blue card. Okay, so they did add some aggression and and counter spells, which is not something I necessarily expected. They do have actual access to Castle Ventress. Fantastic. And I'm actually going to play Bolas first, because I... Uh, Lord Godfarer, uh, please do not take the, the words I'm about to say to heart. Um, I value Bolas a little bit less in this matchup. That's totally fine with me. I just plus. That's, that's fine. Because it, this eats away at my opponent's resources while um, maintaining or gaining uh, my resources. So even if they're able to completely remove Bolas, and they scrap both of those, even if they're able to completely remove Bolas, um, it'd still be like a three for one. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot explore. Search for Scanta, so they have a duplicate. I'm going to start with this. That's pretty good. My schemes are never ending. If this is a mystical dispute, that kind of sucks. What are you at? Five? So they could flip as Kanta soonish, but a flipped as Kanta hopefully doesn't mean shit to my board of boluses. And they're using the Vantress, alright. Where are things going? Because they have to... They, it, it's not just that they are going to be able to, like, constantly loop things. Because they're going to need to be spending mana to make sure that they get their nexuses. Ne next eye. So they're almost certainly going to bin something to transform Ascanta. That mm, probably is something that matters. Ceratops? Sure. You can hit Bolas. Feel free. You can actually just like one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I could grab his shifting ceratops. But I'm more likely to bounce his Reclamation. <laughs> should I bounce Reclamation or should I bounce his Kanta? That is a good MF question. Interesting decision to go for my face. My opponent recognizes that I'm likely to win the long game. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm definitely going to go and do this. We'll see what our opponent gets rid of first. Because I mean, if they go if they go lower on lands, then I think the correct answer is wilderness reclamation. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I I just I just don't know. I just don't know. Both on bottom. That's pretty good for me. Okay. Let your weak minds crumble. Hmm. 
Ashiok might die, but I actually... I actually want my Ashiok to die. Because then I can flip my Ravager, get Ashiok back and use her again. Use them again. Um, and I think I'm going to get rid of the Ascanta. Yeah. I think this is fine. So, I'm on a three turn clock. Uh, they're on a four turn clock. So, I am currently technically losing. And just kind of just still going face. I did forget about Bolus though. I can literally just win the game with Bolus. So my opponent is going to Castle Ventress. What? They're gonna put Blast Zone up to five? I think I can put Blast on up to five. Yup. Very interesting. Not bad. Not great, but, you know, not bad. So, I can bounce Reclamation. Or I can plus try, try, try and draw another card. Well, all they can do is plus. Creeping, thieving progeny. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and bounce the reclamation. Cause then they'll have to sack yeah. Then they'll have to like sack this. They I lose these, but I can just use bolus to get get these fuckers back. So I don't think I care. Yeah. What the, the, the there we go. Bounce this. The cosmos and you know what? I actually think Surrender. I'm going to transform this bolus this turn and yoink out a ceratops. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Yeah. No one can stand in my way. Death means nothing to me. So this turn, I'm probably losing my two five mana walkers, but then I have just like this bolus, which is just, just decent. And plus two on it. If my opponent... The, the thing is, right, if my opponent destroys my Planeswalkers, they lose their entire turn. Right? Uh, I mean, I, I block all day. They might just give Trample, which is fine. This going to one doesn't actually matter all that much. Or this is going to two. Doesn't actually matter all that much. Um, because I'd probably just be plus twoing anyway. Okay, cool. What do you have in hand? I can start exiling things. My opponent doesn't know about my Unward Ego yet, so that's nice. They're doing something on my upkeep. Now they're blowing things up. That doesn't change anything. I have other plans. Oh, baby, I love your way. I can't cast both of them, though. I can't cast Bolus plus Sarkin. So whatever's in your hands, uh, bye bye Cool, iced him. And that, that really shows the, the power of the aggression. So, um, Tyrant Scorn, 
neither of these actually help against um, what's it, but I think I'm going to bring Vraska. I don't know why I didn't bring Contempt in before, but I am now, so shut up. I will, I might not need both of these board wipes, because I have, I have this, this and this, as well as these main deck. I think I might have excessive amounts of board wipes. So I think I'm probably going to end up getting rid of Kaya's Wrath. No, it'd be better to get rid of Time Wipe, excuse me. Time Wipe has more synergy in that I can bounce um, uh, Kid Bolas, but I want to be able to, um, if I only have four mana, acquisition in directly into a castable board wipe. So I think, we, we, I mean, I don't think. We, we mulligan the sand. Uh, we're lucky our opponent mulligans, but this is also quite bad. I don't know why my hands have just been fucking awful. This hand is fine. I have to return two cards. Um, Aki is nice in theory, but I think I just want threats. Threats into threats into threats. If I could get a Thought Erasure, that would be fantastic. This is... I guess technically I could have played this, but... I can play it next turn, potentially. Bottom, that's helpful. Right, so yeah, we're just going to go and play this now. The reason is just because we want to be able to not miss um, land drops. Like, like if we'd played this, this, and then we hadn't drawn a land, then that means we couldn't play Bolas on 4. It's not likely to matter, but I want to still make sure that that is not something that happens. Now, do I play Fires of Invention if my opponent has mana up? Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of just have to. Um, fires would help me. Like, if something's going to get countered anyway, I would rather it be a card that does nothing, right? Whereas Bolas, this does something, right? You know, it gets something out of their hand. This has potential to do a lot more than this, debatably. Um, but this, like, immediately uh, impacts the board in that my opponent gets furcled out of some more cards. Proclamation, okay. Didn't draw lands. So, really not where I wanted to be. Especially since they had another Mystical Dispute. But they do only have three total cards in hand. Tamiyo is definitely not one I wanted to see. If I had drawn a land last turn, then I would have been okay. Because I assumed they were just going to get a Counterspell. Um, so, I did get a land here. Um, Mystical Disputes. I, mean, I can force them... There are some percentages where the correct decision is to tap Castle Vantress at end of turn in order to hope to get a red source in order to cast Chandra, which can't be immediately interacted with. It can get bounced by Brazen Borrower, but it's still something that ticks them down. <sighs> Alternatively, I can try and murder Tamiyo here and force them to use this. And I think I'm going to do that. So force them to use three mana on their turn, which doesn't actually matter because they have Wilderness Reclamation, but sure. So we're gonna activate Tamio. Searcher Nexus, I can't see them trying anything else. Lotto counterspells. They have a Nexus anyway. Yep, they have a Nexus anyway. The story What's going on the offensive? Holds our future.
Yeah, it's a, it's a four turn clock. It's reasonable. Do I get a red source? Probably not going to resolve. Damn. Mulligan to five against the counter spell deck is not great. Not having another red source to deal with the shit. Ceratops also not great. I assume they're going to get a negate. Your talents are worth cataloging. I guess they might get a dispute, but yeah, I feel like negate's better. Is never forgotten. I am still alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force him to use it. Ah, oh, man, definite bummer, definite bummer. That was incredibly loud. I'm very sorry. Nexus should be the right answer here. Yeah. Luckily, didn't get one. Why would they tap my only red source? Especially considering I have a red card in hand. Why would the auto tapper keep all of my Demir lands untapped, but tap my, my single Rakdos land? That's fucking stupid. Um, I should have another Bedevil in the... I do have another Bedevil in the deck, but it doesn't matter. I have a Bedevil. I can kill the Ceratops, and my opponent can just grab it again. So many things went wrong that game. Searches are fine, towns are fine. Twenty six land. I'm going to come back to the main deck in a second. Elder Spell, I legit just have not have not had a reason to use that. Um, time Web, I think, is something I want to get rid of. That's fine. These are all fine. So I can have more one of. So this is a two of, which is nice because sometimes I just need the life gain. It's possible I might want Unward Ego as a two of. Because that will also help against Kethys. Mass manipulation. Mass manipulation is also something that I just haven't... I haven't used often. And I think the reason for that is it doesn't really jive nicely with fires. So I think... I think I want to get rid of mass. Usually if I'm looking for something um, where mass manipulation is good, Star of Extinction is often better. Um, because instead of only taking some things, I get to just destroy everything. It hurts my board as well, but usually that's the type of thing. Like, I have Star of Extinction and Casualty to War. Um, 
So depending on the situation, like those are almost always better. So I think those are fine. Thought distortion is helpful. Um, I could potentially just have an innate card that deals with um, the graveyard to help against Kethis. But I, I feel like I don't need to. Um, three mana Ashiok is a consideration, but I don't think I need it. I think I want to look for maybe maybe even go so far as to just put in some Dreadhorde Butchers. Just literally a couple. Hmm. So let's see. Three mana creature. Let's be honest, rare mythic. <laughs> Nothing else uh, would be sufficient. Nadir Kraken. That's interesting, but I don't think I want to include any double blue cards. This is a little bit different because it's a later game. When I, when I say I don't want to include double blue cards, it's mostly just I don't want to include those cards like early on. Hypnotic Spectre is definitely an interesting one. It's definitely, like, in contention for a slot of just, like, fuck you other control decks. And then, of course, there's Thief of Sanity. And Thief of Sanity is just, like, the tried and true one. I think I'm going to stick with the tried and true Thief. But when it comes to this main board... I'm wondering, so as I've said, Tyrant Scorn is really nice with um, Bolas as well as Atris in the situation. But it's possible that I should cut Tyrant Scorn, have a third search for Ascanta, and go up either a Cry or an Elspeth, uh, Elspeth's Nightmare. I'm inclined to go with Elspeth's Nightmare just because of the fact that it does have additional value in um, exiling graveyards as well as forcing uh, opponents to, to discard things. I wonder the general value of Atris. It's only a two of, which is like not fair to it because I just don't see it as often as I potentially could. I think, uh, I think, so I'm, I'm pretty certain about those sideboard choices but I'm not certain about the main deck choices, so I think I'm going to split it. I think I do want to cut that. Go up to three. Go up to two here. Go up one Atris. And down a Ritual. It's removing a lot of my board interaction my mass board interaction but the fact that I have some creatures here as well as like decent removal I think kind of makes me think that it should be fine 27, 19, and 12 so I should have more blue black and then blue red okay I think this is where I want to be. Yeah. But, um, unfortunately, we had a, a one one game video for uh, for today. I'm incredibly busy, so there's, like, no no bonus stuff. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank my lovely patrons, especially Zen, for the continued support. If you'd like to support, the, uh, join them and support the show, you'll find links to that down in the description. Uh, as I said, today was uh, uh, also brought to you in part by uh, the, the like button. Go ahead and tap it if you've enjoyed this video. Cast a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, add a subscription to Manipal. It's good times. Good game plays. I'll see you next time.